Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, I'm Jerry Byrne. Over this uh, recent past, I'm speaking to many people involved in uh, the Irish community and uh, entertainment, music, arts, etc. Now, I've got a gentleman uh, online now who's uh, manager of the Leeds Irish Centre, which this year celebrates its 50th anniversary. This gentleman is manager for the past 45 years, Tommy McLaughlin. Tommy, lovely to talk to you. How are you? Thank you, my Jerry. Nice to see you. Nice to hear you. Tommy, tell me this. What's what's your own background? My own background. Well, <laughs> my parents, both are from uh, County Mayo, uh, came over came over to London um, in the mid nineteen thirties, and uh, married in London. And um, as I say, we bombed out of London in the Battle of Britain. My mother made her way up to Stoke on Trent, and that's where I was born in Stoke on Trent. Um, 9th of January 1941. So now you know what that makes me now, don't you, Jerry? <laughs> You're only a slip of a lad, Tommy. You're only a slip of a lad. But slip of a lad is right. Uh, did Tommy, you, we, 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 go you, ahead. Yeah, I was going to say it. It's a. It, it was quite a quite a life back then, like a, you know, with the, the bombing and all the rest of us in London. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Mother, as I said, mother was down in um, the underground in Hammersmith when the Battle of Britain started. And when she came up, like, of course, she was pregnant with me. And um, the um, the people there said, well, I'm afraid we must evacuate you. The house was flattened that she was living in. And um, she went up to Stoke-on-Trent, because that's where my father was uh, when she last heard of him. So she ended up in Stoke-on-Trent. And she told me that I was three months old before my father actually saw me. But so that's how it was in the wartime, you know. And um, they stayed there until... Um, 1942, and then moved into South Yorkshire, down into the mining town uh, between Rotherham and Doncaster, and uh, father went into the pits there and was a miner there for 12 years, coming to Leeds then in 1954, unfortunately passed away in 57, and um, as I say, you know, that uh, that was it, that was how life was, and um, eventually I went out working on construction with the land, with the land. I had, I had about 18 months or so in, in London. I was around Kilburn and Cricklewood. And then came back to Leeds and, and um, believe it or not, I, I married a, a cabin girl um, the 1st of January 1966. And uh, here we are still in Leeds. And uh, I became the manager of the Irish Centre in 1975. Although I was the MC uh, when it opened officially in uh, June of 1970. So I had great connections with the uh, with the old Irish Nash, that used to call it the old Irish National Club, it was the Landy Club in the city centre. We used to go there regular court and couples. And then, as I said, eventually ended up as the manager. Right, right. It's a uh, you know it's it's truly uh, tremendous uh, uh, to see that uh, you've obviously steered it very very well uh, and a, a stable ship for uh, all of those forty five years. Because I mean to to be uh, to be celebrating uh, fifty years is uh, you know quite some feat because uh, many many uh, Irish centres as you know have unfortunately gone. Yes, indeed, indeed. Yes, and, I mean it's not been an easy journey, Jerry. I, I wouldn't I would never say that it was easy. There was hard times, very much. Very hard times, difficult times, but um, as I said, we came out on top. We were debt free from 1995, and, and uh, we, we've, um, we've we've done we've done all right since. You know, we've we've been. Yeah, you've had to spread your wings a little bit. You know, between the young people and the older people. You know, and be fair to them all. But uh, we always had we always had this in mind that no matter what we did, Jerry, we'd always do it to the highest standard possible. You know, and I think it paid off in the end. Yes, yes. That uh, uh, you, do you think that, that 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 possibly is the is the secret of the success to be involved with the community and and to keep the standards high? Oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. As I say, yeah, there were difficult times in the late seventies, you know. But as I said, we kept we kept our our, our heads, and um, eventually we we began then because we were always you know the Irish people are so generous. We were always into into charity in a big way. And uh, the next thing then, we started to go into the Lord Mayor's Parade and get ourselves involved with the local community as well. And, of course, everybody knows about the charity within the centre. We've raised almost £5 million in, in, the, uh, in, in the 50 years that we've been there, Jerry. you know? Wow. Lots of money. 
That is a, money. That is a huge, yeah. huge, we've, huge amount of money. We've climbed Crow Patrick. I can't tell you how many times we've climbed Crow Patrick, but it's all paid off in the end, you know? Yes. You do, yeah. That is that is uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, you, you know, is, to, yeah. you know, like uh, five million raising five million pounds is uh, just an astounding well, sum of money. Jerry, Jerry, we have a we have a bottle of whiskey. Believe this or not, we have a bottle of whiskey that's raised a half a million pounds, and it's sitting on the shelf in the Irish Centre, and nobody will take it away, and nobody will take a drink out of it. A bottle of Jemison whiskey. Wow. Now then. How about that one? And it's put up every year to what we call the gentleman lunch. You know, the, the contractors have a, a lunch near, near to Christmas. And it's put up for auction. And people will, will uh, you know, they'll bid up to 10 grand at a time. But they will never, ever take it away, you know. So uh, it's sitting there now at uh, half a million pounds raised. Wow, yeah, that is yeah. absolutely astounding! I'll have to say that uh, that really that really is. And uh, the fact that the, uh, that, the, the, the that that bottle of whiskey is actually still sitting there is t- truly astounding. It, it is, it is, yeah. Right. We, we try to we try to get it in with the the Guinness Book of Records, but whatever uh, hold up there was, uh, you know, but because we didn't acknowledge it at the kickoff, it, it wasn't accepted. But we know what it's done, and that's all that matters, you know. Indeed. So, um, Indeed, yeah. that's it. Now, another another part of the thing, I believe there's actually a, a book being published about the uh, centre, uh, uh, a lady, uh, a journalist, is uh, writing a book. Yes, there is, and it, it should be out now within a couple of weeks, I would say, Jerry. It's called 50, 50 Years in the Making, and um, a lot of people have uh, contributed to it, you know, uh, a lot of, of um, people, the various organizations within the center, uh, music, the dancing, the, the, the uh, you know, the sports, everybody has contributed it in uh, one way or another. And, uh, you know, a, f- a few famous faces as well, um, you know, and a few of the bands of that kind of the past. Uh, no, it's very interesting. And, of course, the, the foreword about, about the Irish coming into Leeds in the first instance, you know, that that's quite interesting, you know. So there's, there's something in it for everybody. And then we've listed as well the, the amount of money, as I said, that's been raised and where it went to. So that will be of interest to a lot of people, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we've, it, it, it's, it's quite, a, it's quite a, good, a good read, actually. Right. There's about 100, 110, 112 pages. Right, that's excellent. The the, the lady who uh, wrote the book, uh, uh, Sharon Boyle, uh, a Yorkshire yes. journalist. That's right, that's right. How important, uh, Tommy, do you think that a, a committee uh, is? Is, it, is it, it must be very important to have a, you know, to have a solid, uh, active committee in a centre. Well, yes, uh, we, we always had, you know, I mean, give, give um, credit to the, to the boys that's, that opened to the centre in the first place. Uh, you know, I mean, to think that they had that foresight, you know, to, to purposely build an Irish centre was amazing. And uh, yes, they continued that. Now, today, now we're only a quite a small committee. I think we're about eight on the committee in total. And then we have four trustees as well. But, uh, you know, every, everybody's happy. It's, you know, we're, we're um, working alongside each other very, very well, you know. Right. And I believe it to myself and Christy. Christy is my sidekick. He's uh, a Tipperary lad. He's been 47 years in the Irish Centre, believe it or not. Wow. And uh, between him and myself, uh, you know, they leave it to us. Wow, that's, that, is, uh, that is excellent. I mean, you, you must have, like, all over the years, you, you, you must have all the, the, the major names in entertainment, the major, all the, the, the big bands in. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, I mean, well, it, it was, you know, from the, from the our own band, show bands, uh, Brendan Shine opened it, of course, and uh, he was coming back after for 50, for 50 years. He was coming back with that, uh, the anniversary night, but uh, unfortunately. But, oh, yeah, we've had Shannon Shannon, and we've had the uh, Christy Moore and the Dubliners and all those bands. Yeah, the big ones, yeah. Yes. Joe Dolan and, you know, absolutely, yeah. And of course, you've had American bands as well, and and uh, you know, uh, you, you had those during the week, you know, just to try and bring in a little bit extra money, you know. But um, you know, it, it was it all worked out in the end, yeah. 
Indeed, that uh, you know that yeah. is absolutely, absolutely uh, excellent. And uh, I, tell me uh, this, Tommy, how are you coping at the at the moment? I mean, in in, in the current situation of COVID nineteen. Not, not, uh, not easy. I mean, uh, we we do have a, a sort of a members' night on a Friday night when people do gather in and we have a bit of a social gathering, you know. But it's only uh, with no dancing or anything like that. It's only just a get together. And then on on Sundays we have a carvery. That's going down very well, and people come to that. You know, like families come into that. Uh, you know, it's on from some sort of one o'clock until four. You know, on the Sunday, and um, that keeps people sort of connected, if you like. Curators, then they they're still uh, they've come back now recently, uh, doing their um, lessons for children. You know, so there's a, one night during the week they do that. So little by little, but what we've done, Jerry, in the meantime, is that we we do we do food, we do sandwiches for the homeless. We've done that now for 20 years, and we're still continuing that. And we also are starting um, food for the schools, but we're waiting for the schools to get back, not after all this fuss about about the kids, you know, at the moment, but that's been seen to us. So we're going to come in now from middle of November right to the end of the year, and we're going to provide the schools that's adjacent to us um, with food, with the food uh, bags, you know, for uh, from down to the end of the year, you know. That is the vulnerable, the vulnerable um, families, if I can say it that way. Yeah. Yes, yes, and uh, uh, you know, it's it's sad, but unfortunately, you know that, that there are many, many families. Uh, unfortunately. Oh. I know that, I know that, and every 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 day, every second day, you're, you're hearing about people that's passed on, and, and there's nothing we, you, you know, like we used to do in the past, you know, meet up, um, have, a, have a mass, have a wake, um, have that type of thing, you know, it's not done anymore, you know, and it's such a shame that you, you can't, you, you, you can't acknowledge the bereavement, you know, like we used to do. Indeed, indeed. You know. So it's a uh, you know it, it does make uh, the the you know the situation, the grieving situation, very very difficult. Absolutely, because when you've been in a place for, as I say, for forty five years and more, you 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 get to know so many families, and 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 you know the older members of the family, you see, and and you know you you just want to be you want to be there, you want to be acknowledged, you want to be there to tell them and and to to sympathise with them, you see, and. You just can't do it in, in the way that we're used to, you know. Indeed so. So it's just sad. It's a, it's a sad time for, for a lot of people. I feel sorry for the ones that are on their own, you know. Indeed so. Indeed so. You know, it's it's, it's good that you're able to, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, to, to, to do uh, as much as you possibly can in the difficult circumstances in the centre. And I, I must say, oh. you know, it's a, that's, a, 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 in, you know, incredible because it is very, very difficult uh, for, for very. Any, Really? A- anybody in the hospitality uh, trade at the moment? Oh, very. I mean, on a Tuesday, we, on a Tuesday, we used to have our our Tuesday club, which uh, sort of you know the over sixties, you know, and we used to have two hundred and fifty people at that every Tuesday, you know, and uh, since March now, I think um, I think yeah, the week before Patrick's um, was the last Tuesday we did, and. Um, you know, you 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 hear, as I said, you hear so many sad stories that when we come back, half those people won't be there. It's sad, isn't it? Indeed, so. And then, then you know, it was it was great for them because they they, they had new friends and and they, they met up with people that they used to work with years ago, and and you know, it was so sad. Indeed, 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 indeed. But, uh, you know, it is. It's it's, uh, it's tough going, but uh, you know, it, like uh, you, you've uh, you've weathered a lot of storms. I mean, uh, in the uh-huh. past, uh, you know, and uh, you mean as you say, it was difficult uh, in the seventies. Indeed, difficult to be yeah. Irish. Yeah. Uh, in the seventies in in uh, in uh, England, and uh, you know, you weathered all of that and became involved in the community and became a, a you know a sort of uh, one of the, uh, the the cogs of the community in Leeds. Yes, yeah, we tried that. We tried. Yes, I said. I think the the main thing behind that, Jerry, is I think people integrated, uh, you know, uh, into with, with the local people, you know. And the thing once again is that the the Irish Centre is such a prominent place. It's on the the A sixty four, just as you're coming out of the city. It's up there on on on, on, a, on a kind of a height, you know. It looks majestic, and the, the people know the money that's been raised there and they know the good causes that we've given to and I think you're, you're, you're more than accepted 
if I can put it that way. I know it sounds, but you know, you're you're, you're just the part and parcel of the, of the of the community. You're just part of Leeds, and and that's it. You know, indeed. Uh, and you know, we never went in cap in hand to anybody. You know, we always stood our ground. And and uh, as I said, you know, I, I think that's the big thing for us. You know, and that people respect you for it. You know. Indeed, yes. I'd say, I think it's fair to say, you know, when you do the right thing uh, in, a, in a situation, people will respect you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I must say, uh, you know, you, you've—it's an astounding achievement, uh, you know, to uh, be running and uh, to be running successfully for uh, fifty years. That is absolutely uh, fantastic. Yeah, you know, and the- well, yeah, that's it. There was a lot of people involved. I know I'm uh, the front man, if you like, but there was a lot of people behind me as well, Jerry. You know. Indeed. Well, it, it's it's all uh, you know. The bigger picture of the situation, Tommy, really is that it's all a, a you know, it's it's a it's got to be a, a big effort. There's a, it's not just one one person just cannot do it. Absolutely, no way. You could not take you couldn't take on the like of that. No way, Jerry. No, no way, man. And uh, as I say, it's proud, you know, because it it looks so good. But we did a lot of renovations, you know, time for our fiftieth and all that. But it's still. It's there when when people are ready to come back to us now in the in the, in the new year. All we want to do is is let this year go by and start off twenty twenty one. You know. Yes. Exactly, exactly, yeah. and do the best, Tommy. Listen, it's been lovely to uh, chat to you, and uh, listen, I wish you, uh, you, and everybody involved in the Leeds Irish Centre, all the, all Thank the you. very best. Well done on everything, and uh, Thank you very much. Keep safe. All the very best. Good luck.